Okay. I hop in with anticipation, for my driver today has a hands-off approach. What's going to happen here? So I'm going to press this button and it will go on its own. That's pretty much it. Yeah. In the parking lot, the van starts off conservatively, but once it hits the open road, you might say it has a free-willing spirit, kind of like co-founder Tao Wong. Did you ever get nervous taking into this car? Uh, not really. First time, you must have been nervous. Yeah, a little bit. It's very fun uh, after you program the vehicle yourself and then you see it working. Wang from Wuxi, China, founded Drive AI with fellow students from a deep learning research group at Stanford University. In a lot of cases, machines are more reliable than humans because humans get distracted, get tired when they are driving, and that's when most of the accidents happen. But there are uh, very hard challenges building a AI system that uh, can drive very reliably. Drive AI is building a complete solution, both software and hardware, that can turn almost any vehicle into a self-driving car. They're focusing on business fleets that can have pre-programmed routes, though the cars still have to be able to adapt to whatever comes its way. In 2017, Drive AI's vehicles traveled more than 10,500 kilometers in autonomous mode and had to disengage 151 times to allow a human to take over. Oncoming traffic, it still has a little bit problem dealing with that. We're still working on that. Actually, every single disengage is like a golden learning experience for us. What's the leading cause for disengaging from self-driving mode? Like behaviors of other uh, agents on the road. So like pedestrians behaving in a weird way or cars uh, cutting off us really aggressively. All the data collected and the camera views from every angle of each journey can be dissected later. Visualization Project's leader Pat Marion shows us how he can program adjustments and replay simulations to see if it works going forward. The blue path is our the navigation route where we want to go, but in this case there's a parked car. So what we're going to do is we're going to nudge around, we're going to deviate a little bit from the, from the nominal path here to leave a little more room for that parked car. Wong says one of the ongoing challenges for any self-driving vehicle is knowing, like humans, when it's okay to break a rule, for example, in emergency situations. And while acknowledging that the technology will cut the number of professional driving jobs, Wong believes increased safety and less traffic will help create a more productive economy. Mark New, CGTN, Mountain View, California.